Welcome back to the GE1000, Radio Man 3 here. Let's say we hang out and play some Minecraft on the Xbox 360. Hmm? Yeah, sounds like a good idea to you. Sounds like a good idea to me. Episode 21. 21 is where we're at right now. Can I get this to go in right there? Oh yeah, it does the corner. I am just now finishing the rail line out to the rail, uh, the rail platform. Yeah, the rail platform. That's exactly what we're going to call it, the rail platform. So, I am going to go ahead and get this worked out to where we can uh, move on out there and get our next rail installed, which I think I want to put one out to the village right away because of the fact... Did I drop a stair down here? I want to get... Uh, I'd like to get John Cole up here, and so the rail out there would be very, uh, very nice to have. We could just put uh, a villager in a cart and send them right on back. So that's what I want to do. Uh, eventually, that's the first rail I want to get going out there. That is the first thing I want to do with that. But, let me go ahead and I'm going to take you up on top here and we'll take a look at this. Let's go ahead and bring this back and get ourselves up here. i got to clean up my mess. Clean up my mess so when we go back and look at it, we can see the whole thing. That doesn't matter. I notice the uh, tools are still swinging kind of oddly. Uh... Not too thrilled about that still. I'm hoping that they're going to fix it. I know there's other people that uh, are definitely seeing it as well. So I hope they fix it. It seems like the when you 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 really got to have your cursor right in the middle of the block in order to guarantee that you're going to hit it. It doesn't work quite as well on the sides and stuff. I've noticed. So I'm I'm pretty sure they'll they'll get a patch on that pretty quick, right? Yeah, yeah, of course, of course. So I hope everybody's doing great. I'm having a good day. It's really kind of a, an odd week for me. I wasn't actually planning on recording an episode this week because I have Subscriber Saturday coming up on Saturday, October 12th. And I know I'll be joining some of you guys there. So I wanted to make sure that I was, you know, super souped up for Minecraft and just... Because, I mean, that's a, it's an eight-hour play day. So that's, a, you know, it's going to be a great time, of course. I'll have fun. But I thought, you know what, I kind of saved myself for the uh, Subscriber Saturday. But... But then I got on today, and I was like, man, I really need to get that rail taken care of. We need to get a second building going on here. There is work to be done. What am I, what am I, get that oak tree out of my inventory. I'm missing all my dirt. Um, and yeah, so here I am. Here I am. We got the, uh, this railway uh, set in that's going to go out to what's going to be a building right there. I'll show that to you. It's really, I think it's going to work out really great uh, with, with what I came up with. So let's see if we can't find a way back up. Uh, you know what? Actually, I do know another way up. We have to go down here, though, first. And then we'll take a step back and look at this. And then I want to get the... Uh, I'll cut away and... Up, please. Thank you. Up again. Thank you. And I want to get uh, this platform done over here that we're looking at, that we're going to be uh, working on today. And so I'll cut away and work some more on it and then come back and, and we'll take a look at it and stuff like that and, and get that done get the, the platform put in so we can, uh, you know, move forward, doggone it. That's what the platform's going to look like. Anyways, let's go back out this way. And I want to jump out here a ways to see if we can't uh, get a good look at this. It's a bit bigger in the bottom. It's a little bit heavier in the bottom. <laughs> but, but, um, I think we got our GE, uh, the GE on her. I think we definitely got the GE on her. There we go. Yeah, see, now it's, it's, it is a little bit bigger. It does look heavier. But I'll explain to you how, what I have planned to kind of uh, deal with with the added weight that's here, okay? And I took a couple trees down around it, too. First and foremost, it does now blend in with the corner of the building at the bottom, and it's an extension of the building. It comes around, and it hooks in, and it goes right straight across, which I really like. It gives it a real smooth line, I think, to it. Uh, We'll get glowstone archways figured out. I do not want to enclose. I don't want to enclose the entire rail, but I do want to do um, like uh, some kind of a half circle shape over the top of this right here that'll start on this side and end on the other side with the glowstone in the middle. We talked about this before. And I want to do glowstone in the floor as well. I think that would look good. So we'll ride a rail out to here, boom, and then we get to our, uh, our, our, our rail station pad here. Um... I guess I'm going to have to get back down the way I got back up. The way I got up, huh? We'll just take the binds. Traverse in the jungle. All right, so I think that looks... I, I like the way it looks. I think it's 
it's a little more my style too it's a little more uh it's out there it's got i guess i'm actually winding up with a little more industrial look than i probably originally wanted to because i really kind of wanted to blend in but at the same time i'm not enjoying it as much if i'm completely hiding it you know what i'm saying does that make sense i want to see my creation and i want it to i actually want it to stand out in the jungle the more i think about it the more i want it now to to stand out with all this green in here this just boom it's just boom it's right there you can't not see it it's just huge it's not it's not as huge as it could be but it's it's you know it's a sizable structure up in the jungle canopy that's for sure oh man look at me my food is in horrible horrible condition here i am again i'm off building and stuff and i should be dealing with the food situation and everything else and i, I wind up uh pushing it off towards the uh, the end up here what we're going to do this will continue on and go up around this platform as well just like it does on the other one um let's see here we need to uh, we need to make let's get a stack of these going real quick there we go and actually one two i want to get this i want to get this first row really established in here before we move to doing the floor itself oh uh, yeah let's set this one out first and this is the shape that this room is going to be. I like the shape. I think it turned out just fine and dandy. Uh, let's get a piece of dirt. Oh, oh my gosh. It just threw 60 dirt away. Doggone it. Um, I'll go down and get those. I'll go down and get those when they break away. Um. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, there goes some more dirt. I'm going to have all kinds of reasons to go down there in just a bit. That's okay. I'll just jump right from this tree right here. So then we come on the outside here. Let's get these iron bars off the bar. We don't need those anymore. I've been saving the leaves and everything because we're going to need it to uh, kind of please this place up a little bit and, and get it all cleaned up so it looks it looks good. Hanging out out here in the jungle. Yeah, we got to do some pleasing up, that's for sure. Let's go down and grab those blocks because I can already feel a bit of lag occurring when I have all this stuff floating around down here. At least it feels like it. What I've noticed is that when I'm up here working, if I'm down here at this platform, I'm, I'm fine. As soon as I turn to face the GE, I, I feel this uh, sort of, uh, I want to say a, like a, a leg spike is what it, what it feel, looks like and feels like. My whole screen kind of gets uh, kind of weird. I don't know if uh, you guys have that too. And we've talked about it before. Is it the redstone, the amount of redstone, or what is it that, that, that does it? Um, I, I don't know. Anyways, it, it does happen on occasion here. And it's usually, anytime I turn like this, if I'm like working this way, no problem. But as soon as I do this, everything kind of slows down a little bit. And I'm wondering also if what the cause of that is, is because it has to load so much when I do travel from one end of here to another. I mean, there, it's, it's going to open a bunch more jungle over here. Watch, see. And that's a lot for loading when you think about it. Actually, it doesn't seem to do too much at all, does it? It looks like I'm kind of in the parameters, so maybe it's just uh, the redstone on the GE or something? I don't know. I don't know. Hmm. Anyways, let's get back to work. Just something I was noticing as I, as I play along here. So, we have gone from having uh, our summer, which our monsoon, by the way, was a record this year. I mean, we wound up with something like uh, 17, 18 inches of rain, okay, for our, our monsoon, which is great. That's that's way above normal, and and doggone it, we needed it. We needed it so bad. So no worries there. But now, fall hit. I mean, and it, and it had turned fall, I swear to you, overnight here. And, and I'm talking about the high country of Arizona, baby, the high country um, up in the mountains. And it has just been... The temperature has been good, but it's been a very windy fall. So you, you don't want to... I hate the wind. I do. I, I absolutely... If there's one thing I can't stand is wind. It just drives me absolutely crazy. I don't know if you're the same way, but wind makes me nuts. Absolutely nuts. And um, that's what it's been like for the fall. And fall has been all of, I want to say, maybe three weeks. Maybe. 
maybe three weeks now. The trees went from being green to uh, like my aspen trees in my front yard right now. They are turning a beautiful golden yellow. <clears throat> I've got another tree that, it, and mind you, I bought this house this year and we didn't see the trees uh, with leaves or anything when we bought the house because it was, uh, it was, there was still snow on the ground here at the time. Um, where was I? Oh, so one tree actually has the, the tip of the leaf is red, and then as you go into the leaf, it turns kind of an orange, and then right at the bottom of the leaf, where the stem is, it's a yellow color, and it's really an awesome leaf. But anyways, um, so now we've got this fall that's just blown in here like crazy, and uh, we've got, and we had, we did have a snow actually on uh, September 27th. It dusted some snow up on the uh, mountains near my house. Oh yeah, oh yeah, it was a delicious swig, a swig of coffee, a swig of joe, a swig of joe down the old hatch. Um, so anyways, we've had like a dusting of snow, but we've not had um, what I would call, you know, uh, apparently a dusting of snow does not count as snow. So, I'm like, all right, that's, that's fine. So what does count for snow? What counts for snow is it has to be a measurable amount of snow. Well, tonight, overnight tonight, uh, there's supposed to be this storm coming in from the Pacific Northwest, and it's going to dump up to two inches of snow, possibly, by tomorrow morning, which is just crazy already. It's only October, for Pete's sake, and we're looking at maybe some snow coming in here. <sighs> wow, that was a lot to say. <laughs> All right, all right, what are we doing here? What are we doing here? Okay, now what I'm thinking here, um, I hope you like the platform. I utilized this tree. At first, what I was going to go for was kind of a, a half moon shape around just this tree and then come back and meet up with the rail here. But I thought, that is not going to give me enough room. It's not going to look right because it's going to be, I don't know, I just didn't like the whole half moon shape idea. So then I thought, well, why not do a similar shape to that, but bring it out here and turn it the opposite direction? So that's what I did, and I just kind of followed the same pattern. It's seven, one, two, two, seven, one, you know, and, and all the way around. So I, I followed that pattern, and this is what it came out to be. This is the room. So I think this is going to be plenty of space for us to be able to, uh, we can have a rail cart station right here that will head off into that direction towards the forest, which is very awesome. It'll be nice to have that. Um, and then we've got our rail off this direction, which takes us down into the desert, which, of course, you know, you, you got to have sand. We're not using a whole lot of glass, but I would like to have a rail at least out there. And then here we have our, uh, well, I guess that's off to the extreme hills biome and over towards the village. So this will be the village rail. We'll go out and then turn and land down in the village and uh, build a station there. For the, for the house, but yeah, the village is just over the top of that hill, and we might be able to actually, I wonder if we'll be able to go through the mountain this time. I would really like to be able to do that, dig a tunnel through the mountain. That would be very cool. So anyways, that's that's the game plan. Hold on, I'm going to clear my throat, so I'm going to take a pause here so I can do that and not do it in your ear. Okay, that was a little bit longer break than I was planning on taking to just clear my throat, but I did. all I did was go refill my coffee. I'm right back here. Um... Here is my idea for around the inside of this. Uh, uh, oh, I should probably finish explaining. I'm thinking about doing just a little a little bracket like we have underneath the main GE there, a bracket around this tree that hooks up to this right here, and then perhaps another bracket. We are going to do a bracket around that tree. Uh, we'll have something that leads out here, and it brackets to that, and then... Um, probably one on this tree as well and then that will give this end I think a tremendous amount of what would be support and of course the bracket underneath this uh, tree right here and then therefore we've got this half of the rail uh, the weight being carried by all these trees down here I mean it'd be, it'd be more than substantial I would think and then we've got the same thing going on right here and what we could do is even put a bracket mm, no that tree does not sit up against it so never mind um, but anyways, that's kind of the idea down here. So we can take care of what, what, what appears that I, I probably put a little extra weight on that. Um, for in here, and uh, let's go ahead and get, let's leave those in the bar. We want to get rid of that. We're going to need, 
some spruce wood. We do not need the iron bars. Look at this, man. Look at this inventory. What a mess. I should have dumped some of this stuff off. I should have dumped some of it off. So did I go, too, uh, go on too long about my weather? <laughs> Here, listen to my weather forecast for, for my area. Oh, and I failed to mention, too, is that we've got winds at like 50 miles an hour today. So it's just this howling, howling mess. I'm thinking about doing... No, no, no. Gosh dang it, radio. Uh, this, and this, and now I want to do... Oh, I want to do something like this right here. Uh, this would actually probably be... We're going to put that block right there. And put this right here. No, I don't even have enough space yet to even show you what I'm what I'm thinking about doing here. I, th I think you're probably seeing it with me. Do I have another shovel? Oh, I do not. All right, let me drop some of this stuff off and get a shovel, and then I'll come back and, and show you what I want the floor to look like. Okay, I got our stuff. Got our stuff. Let's just get some of this out of the way. Let me get this going. And I'll show you what I'm talking about here. I want this to be bordered out like usual it's, it's gotta it's gotta have that if, if you're gonna do an uh, inlay thing I, I, I feel like the the floor has got to have this in it it's got to have a border like this at least on the edge otherwise it's just too much of one thing uh, boom boom okay now I can now I can get some representation of this here down for you there we go. Hey, welcome to the new subscribers. I appreciate you guys signing up. I'm at 110. I think I had 111 there for a couple of days or something. I don't know. <laughs> but anyways, it's kind of funny. Uh, anyways, yeah, 110. So I'm pretty happy about that. Thanks a lot, everybody, for your support. It's been great. It's been great. Very, very good. I like it very much. So you see what I'm going with this here? Do I have any more? Uh, I've got slabs on me, so let's just... Uh, Let's do that right there to get the whole feel for it. Now, I know this is not going to be mob safe because I'm using full blocks, but I'm willing to spend the time on lighting it to where I don't have to worry about that. When I build with the slabs in the floor like like the main GE is and stuff, it really, for me anyways, it's, it's limiting my ability to build something the way I want to build it. Um, and when I have the solid blocks like this, it's extremely, I, I like it, I like it a lot better. I like it a lot better. So anyways, that's kind of how I feel about that. So we're going to go around with it like, uh, do I need to come back this way yet? Uh, yeah, I do. I need, I need to go back. We need some more spruce. I really like the spruce and how it looks in the jungle and up against this, uh, these gray blocks. I really like how it looks. Um... Do I have any more? I've got jungle. I have no spruce. So uh, let's take a little trip down to the uh, the hovel. I'll show you uh, the outcome of that uh, the cage around the rail that goes down into the ground. I'll show you the outcome of that. Um, it's right there. Boom. And let's uh, see if we can't jump down here. We'll take a, look, a better look at it here real quick. I can't not show you what we were working on last episode. That's what I came up with. I kind of like it. It's uh, it's kind of cool. It's real solid on top. Like, you know, it's it's just, uh, you know, it's solid, baby. And then we've got, we have it caged off. But when you're out here, and if, if we're ever coming in from this direction, which I would like to do a staircase up the side of this that comes up and meets up so we can come out in and out of here faster instead of taking the vines. Um, but if we're out in this area, then you can still see through and see that, you know, we've got this awesome, uh, this awesome tunnel in there. So that's how that turned out. I hope you like that. Um, yeah, we're going to ooh, watch it. Ocelot cat. Don't be so scared. Jeez. Man. Nervous, aren't they? They are nervous little creatures. Um, what I come in here? Oh, spruce. Look at all that. Look at that. Man, I tell you what, whoever told me about the tree farm thing, that is a, that is I don't know why I didn't do it right away the first time. That is a great idea. Look, well, no, I, where am I going? Why am I walking up here? We've got our path lit. We've got an entire path from here to the GE 1000 and, excuse me, and uh, all the way over to uh, the rail, the rail, uh, the rail station. Oh, look at that. Look at that. Cool. Cool. 
Not so elusive now, are you, kitty? Oh, look at him. He's like, oh, he jumped into the jungle canopy and got away. That's cool. Look at how... That was... That's like that's like real stuff right there. I mean, that's... Look at him. Oh, yeah. Thought you had me, human, but you did not. I am the ocelot. Have I shown you guys this lately? No mobs have... No, no mobs have been spawning up in here. We've been safe. Oh, and uh, Gamer Gold told me that... Uh, Sometimes trees will pop out of the ground like that if there's not enough light. Which I thought, how weird, there's not enough light up here, but it may be that there was not enough light. So the trees were popping out of the ground. But I took them out, and, and I, I may or may not put anything back in. I, I don't know that there needs to be something in this corner and in that corner over there. So I don't think that is a, a must. A must. A must have. Oh, yeah. See, this is going to look really cool out here, huh? Right? I hope you guys like this. I hope you like it. It, it took me a little while to uh, get this whole thing worked out in my head. Matter of fact, I've noticed that just about everything, everything on this particular Let's Play is taking me, I want to say, ten times as long. At least it feels that way. Because I'm, I'm building out of my norm. Um, yeah, I'm going to say that, that, that's, that, that I, that's exactly how I feel. I'm really having a hard time with just about everything on here. Um build wise because it's such oddly sh it's so oddly shaped and it's <clears throat> I I love building on the ground like the GE 71 I will mimic that building again someday the Xbox one not not mimic it it'll look similar to that but it's gonna be I've got even more ideas for when the Xbox one Minecraft comes out and we are gonna have uh, the, the plan for that let's play right now that I'm going with is we will build in the jungle but we will be on the jungle floor and I picture, I picture something, picture the GE71, but much, much, much bigger, sitting like right out here in the middle with all this beautiful jungle wrapped around it, and then see our pods zipping off of that massive structure sitting in the jungle. That's what I see. That's what I see. And I'm not going to say anything more about it, but that's coming up on the uh, Xbox One uh, version when that comes out. So I'm really excited about that. And uh, today, when I started uh, fiddling with this thing, I thought, ooh, you know what? This, this is going to look good. I'm going to like how this looks. And that's going to make a really cool t uh, rail station. And we are not going to uh, completely conceal it. I don't think I want to use hardly any glass at all in here. I want to do uh, some neat columns uh, on the corners. Uh, don't put anything there, radio. Don't do it, radio. Refuse it. Refuse it. Why do I keep putting my shovel away? Somebody answer. Riddle me that. Riddle me that, viewer. Riddle me that. Um, what am I looking for? Oh. Stone blocks. Give me some stone bricks. There we go. All right. Let's... Boom. Boom, boom. Like a so. Yeah, see? that? It's just not working quite right. That swing in motion. I need to look again and, and find out if they've, they've addressed the fact that, yes, we know this, this is an issue, and yes, we are going to fix it. Um, I hope so. Pretty sure. Pretty sure. All right, so how about if I finish up this floor, and then maybe we'll uh, run a quick rail down here quickly and get our uh, you know little station set up here so we can roll back and forth between here. I know I'm lazy, right? <laughs> It's only that far, but I'd rather ride a rail through here than, than run it. So uh, let me go ahead and get that. Uh, let me get this floor set up, and then we'll lay the track together, and then we'll fire up a cart and see how things go. Okay, I got most of it in. I put uh, I'm putting redstone lamps underneath the power rails. I was kind of hoping that by having the redstone lamp underneath there, I have a lever beneath the redstone lamp. I was hoping it would uh, automatically activate the power rails, but that is not the case. So, we have to go underneath each one of these and turn these on so we've got our power rails going. I think I can make that, you know what, I don't have to make that jump, I can make this jump. This is a much more fun jump anyways. Here we go. Oh man, these vines might screw me up. Let me get rid of these vines real quick. Woohoo! Yeah! <laughs> it's the little things in life, people. It's the little things in life. All right, let's let's uh, let's get this out of here. We don't need this. We don't need this. We don't need these. All we need is these levers and 
uh, stone bricks, and I wanted to try one of these. I'm trying to avoid using the redstone torches on the rail itself just to eliminate if it is the redstone that's causing me to have my issue a little less of it but I've got to have redstone I just gotta have redstone I love it I love bringing it it's what makes my world come alive you know I gotta have it I got to have it and we can put this right up here boom so that power rail is activated well it's not the lights activated but the power rail is not that's right duh I still wanted to put these down here because I thought it would look really cool to have these lights going on at night along the rail. I think that would look very awesome. So let's continue on. Let's get rid of the... You know what? Let's eat some of the bread. Take a break here, radio. Take a break. Eat some bread. Eat some bread. Ah, delicious. Those villagers, they sure know how to grow some wheat, man. They know how to grow some wheat. Um, I need some dirt. I need some dirt. Boom. There we go. All right. And then we'll figure out the redstone torch above. I guess we are going to have to have redstone torches. I don't know what I was talking about. What the heck was I talking about? I guess I forgot that the first one has got the, uh, the power button, duh, on it. I don't know. D don't pay attention to me. I just play Minecraft. I just play Minecraft. That's all I do. I, that's all I do. That's all I do. Um, do we know what other kind of texture packs are coming out, too, for the... Uh, for the mine for Minecraft for the Xbox One, I'm kind of curious if we we know uh, what's what's going to be coming. Why did I use those bricks? If we know what um uh what what's the word I'm looking for? <clears throat> Do we know when? What other kind of uh, texture packs are coming out for it? That's that's what I'm trying to spit out here and having a horrible time doing. I'm really curious if if we know that yet because I would like to know. Uh, which ones are coming out, and then look at them and see, okay, that's the one I want to use for the uh, the next project. Um, I wouldn't mind using a different uh, texture pack. I'm, I'm, I'm totally open to that, if it's the right one. I like the plastic one, but I think after a while it wouldn't look as, as good to me because it is, it looks like plastic. Let's go up, uh, let's, go, let's go up this way here real quick. This is our best, fastest way up. And um, so I, I don't think I would enjoy the... Uh, the plastic look for very long. I, I, I did enjoy it for a little while, but I don't know if it's something that would actually uh, stick with me here. Wish you could kind of weave yourself around the edge of the tree there and stay on the vine. Maybe you can, and I'm just not doing it right. I don't know. I don't know. Uh, we got power over here. We're golden there. Okay, so we do have to do redstone torches, so... Hmm... This is going to be... Let's put them all on one side. Uh, yes, let's do that. Let's put them all on one side. We're going to need this right here. And the redstone torch. We'll figure something out for these once we get the, the arches built in. The arches... Well, the arches are going to actually be on... Um, I could use... Uh, whatchamacallits, too. I know that. I know I could use those. Uh, the uh, detector rails, and I may do that, but for the sake of firing this up and taking a look at it today, uh, we might as well do it this way. And this, besides that, I do like having the doggone it. See, I go back and forth with this with this whole hide the redstone thing. I don't know if I'm I'm that person. I don't know if I like to hide the redstone. I I sure do like seeing that red glow, man. I love seeing that red glow. It does a lot for me. It does. It does. I, th I think I think you guys see too why I, I like it. it, it it's, it's very mechanical, very cool mechanical looking. All right, I'm willing to bet you fifty dollars that I don't have any iron on me to make a cart, and I know I don't have any in here because I used it all up. So we are on our way back down to the hovel to pick up some more equipment. Uh, let's leave these here. We've got to keep our workbench. We're not going to need those right now. Or that. So let's go back to the hovel real fast, get a cart, and then we will come back up and do our thing. Ride that rail once, get out there and check it out, and then we'll build some other ones. Like I said, uh, the NPC village one, we'll, we'll get that going first. It's so weird. That's exactly the first pod we built last time, and it's going to turn out to be the same one this time, but it's it's for a whole different reason. It's to get uh, 
get us a John Cole and see if we can keep him up there. You know what I mean? Hopefully, uh, he does stay up there. Is it five for a cart? Watch it be six. Watch it be six on me. Nope. Ha! <laughs> it can be taught. It can be taught. <laughs> I'm so proud of myself. I got a gold star next to my name today. I'll tell you what. I'll tell you what. Even the building has gone relatively smoothly. I didn't have too many mistakes today. <laughs> I don't think I've fallen any great distances. <laughs> oh, it seems a bit dark in here. Well, let's let's turn on the light. Yeah, there we go. That's right. Turn on the light. Even with those lights, those things wouldn't uh, wouldn't stay put. Oh, for Pete's sake! I know. Don't don't even don't even don't even just stop banging on your head. I know. I know. I know. Boom! Block right there. Fool radio. Fool, fool, fool. Hey, don't turn me forward. All right. Look at this. That, now that is that is called snappy. That is snappy. Boom. We are back and forth. No time flat. We are back into the GE1000. Shaboom. Shabam. We are out here at the rail station. Hop out. Bang. We can jump into our cart here. We'll jump into a cart there. We've got a third cart right here. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. All right. Awesome. Hey, everybody. I'm the Radio Man 3 Thank you so much for taking the time to watch my video. I really appreciate that. I thank you very much. Again, welcome to the new subscribers. Subscriber Saturday, October 12th, 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. Be there, be square, baby. Be there, be square. We're going to continue work on our, uh, our uh, subscriber world. I look forward to talking to you then. I'm the Radio Man 3 like, comment, subscribe, you know, all that good stuff. I will talk to you again next time.